Hey guys, I am back today with a story time video. Um, my last story time with Cassidy about our crazy Canada adventure went over decently well, so I decided I'd tell this one, and it kind of ties, um, it's like a story time video, but it also kind of ties in like, um, like body positivity issue so that's why I feel like it's like perfect um, to kind of tell on my channel it kind of just fits in really well so basically I'm just gonna start from the beginning and tell you guys the story and then just kind of tell you why I personally think it's so fucked up so me and my boyfriend at the time and Cassidy was actually there too she's just not I don't know I decided to film this video by myself um, so it was me, Zach, Cassidy, Haley, and my brother, Nick. Um, we all decided to go downtown, um, and we just kind of walked around, had a good time. We were by the water. Like, it was just, like, a super casual type of thing. So um, I don't – I know it's a chain, this place that we went to. I know it's a chain, like, where I live, but I don't know if it's a chain, like, in any other part of New York State or, like, you know, even outside of New York State. But um, we went to this restaurant – called um Jim's Steakout and it's really not even a restaurant like you can eat in there but it's it's like a mix between a restaurant and a fast food place um you just like order your food and it's like ready in a few minutes and you can get it um you can eat in there but it's not like it's not like burgers or anything like that even though you can get burgers there it's mostly like subs and wraps and you can get salads and um I don't even think they don't have pizza like fried food just like stuff like that so Jim's Steakout it's fucking good like it's so good so we decided to go there and like we all have our own orders like I always get the stinger wrap and like Cassidy she used to get these chicken bites but now she's a vegan so she doesn't get those anymore now she gets like veggie quesadilla or veggie uh, sub or something like that but um anyway so we went there and like I said it was um all of us and we ordered our food and me, Cassidy, and Haley sat at one table, and Zach and Nick sat at a table, like, right next to us, but, like, they weren't connected just because the booths were, like, really small, and we just couldn't fit everybody inside. So we're, like, waiting for our food, and then me and Cassidy went to the bathroom there, and the bathroom there is, like, a one-person bathroom, but me and Cassidy, I mean, we went in there together. We're best friends, so it doesn't matter. Like, we can share a bathroom, you know? It's not a big deal. So... We went to the bathroom, shared the bathroom, and then we just sat down and we were just enjoying our time, talking, eating, like whatever. So there's these two guys kind of sitting um, behind Nick and Zach, like across from us. And it's an older gentleman, I would say he was in his 50s or 60s, and a younger guy, probably in his 20s or 30s. Um, and it seemed, it was late at night, I would say it was almost 11 o'clock at night, and it seemed to be, Jim's is like a place, like a Jim's Steakout is open until 5 a.m., so it's definitely a place you go if you Want late night food and there's like tons of like drunk people there all the time but these these individuals were not intoxicated as far as I can tell they were kind of talking about a hospital and like something like that and there is a hospital nearby and we saw kind of pictures on their phones like not creepily staring at them but like they were talking about it they were facetiming somebody in the hospital and it looked as if she'd like just given birth or something like I don't I'm not entirely sure I'm just, I'm just like guessing but they were there they were eating and the older guy, he was, from the beginning, he was so rude to everybody in Jim's. So Jim's has music playing there while you're eating because it's a restaurant. It's like a kind of like a younger crowd because it's open so late and people go there after they go out and things like that. So they had music playing. It wasn't incredibly loud. And he went over to the people working at Jim's and he's like, you need to turn the music off in this restaurant because it's, I'm super sensitive to it and it's annoying me. I can't enjoy my food and eat here with the music on. So that's a little crazy. And at first, like the gym's workers were like no like we can't do that but then he complained and then the manager was like fine we'll just turn the music off until this guy leaves so they turn the music off which makes the whole restaurant just kind of like awkward in a way like because this one guy everybody like now you can hear everybody's conversations in the restaurant so it was kind of weird um this guy has a huge fit about how he doesn't have blue cheese. He ordered blue cheese. He doesn't have it. And so they gave him another one. And then he goes back to his table. He's like, I fucking lied. Like, I have another blue cheese. I just wanted one for free. So this guy, the older guy, was just, like, so, so rude. So rude. 
So then the younger guy goes to the bathroom and he comes back. Now there's a men's bathroom and a women's bathroom. And when me and Cassidy went to the bathroom, we went in the women's bathroom, okay? Like that's where we fucking went to the bathroom. So the younger guy goes to the bathroom and he comes back and he says to the older guy, he goes, it smells like really, really strong weed in the men's bathroom. And the older man looks and points to me and Cassidy and he goes, I bet it was those fat bitches that smoked weed in the bathroom. And I literally was just like, what? Like, <laughs> what? Like, okay, this guy just targeted us out of nowhere, targeted us, commenting on how we look, called us fat bitches for smoking weed in the men's bathroom like we fucking went to the bathroom in the women's bathroom and we didn't smoke weed in there fyi like we didn't do anything but go to the bathroom and it was just like i i looked i mean i made eye contact with him and i was like excuse me and he just he just like laughed and kept eating and so then we all sat there super awkwardly and then as they were leaving um because I don't think my brother or Zach heard when they first said it so as they're leaving I was like Nick did you hear what he said and he's like no what and I told him and my brother he's a good brother he really is and Zach Zach's a good guy in general and when I told them what the guy said I mean Cassie told them what the guy said they got so mad they followed the guy out of the restaurant they probably shouldn't have done it but I mean it's my brother like it's my brother and somebody made fun of her sister and it was my boyfriend and I wouldn't expect I mean I was telling Nick not to do anything you know I was like please don't like don't get us in trouble don't start shit like whatever but Nick followed him out of the restaurant he's like who do you think you are just saying shit like that like, that's fucking rude um and the, the guy's just like, go back inside, like, go back inside. And my brother's like, no, you don't say shit like that to people. Like, just randomly targeting random people for a bathroom smelling like weed. Like, it was so ridiculous. So, my brother and Zach, as much as I didn't want them to follow them out of the restaurant, they did. But nothing happened. Like, my brother didn't. I mean, nobody fought. Like, nothing. I mean, I was nervous because my, I mean, my brother got really mad um, that he said that as, as anyone should, you know, as anyone should. But I was just like, you know what, like, maybe this guy just like like who knows maybe the, the person in the hospital was didn't just give birth and they were like dying I don't fucking know and he was in a bad mood but to me it's just like this guy was just I mean he was so rude from the beginning from the beginning of him walking into that that restaurant he made the workers turn off the music and like all these different things and then like when he left the workers turned back on the music and they like started clapping they're like thank god this guy's gone because I'm sure he did other things that like I just didn't catch on to because he was just that type of person like he was so incredibly rude so then as they're leaving and my brother's like telling him like that's so rude don't say that blah blah, blah. um he throws change like quarters or something at my brother and then my brother threw it back at his car and at that point it's kind of like I know my brother shouldn't have done that but at that point it's like if this man is gonna throw change at you that's fuck that's that's disrespectful that's fucked up like I I mean I don't care my brother threw change at his car and I don't give a fuck like go Nick good for you you know it's just kind of like like, it's just ridiculous because I don't understand why people find the need. I mean, I, like I said, I don't know what he was going through emotionally or mentally or something like that. If it's not an excuse, it's really not. But it's just, it's so messed up. And I hear stories all the time. Like, I watched a video. This girl went to Walmart and she, um... She wanted to try on a sweater. The lady working the changing room at Walmart was like, I'm not letting you try that sweater on. And she's like, why? And the lady's like, because it's clearly not going to fit you. And it's just like, I don't get, like, I don't get why people, like, take it upon themselves to start issues. Had that guy not made any comments about us smoking weed in the men's bathroom and calling us names, there would have been zero issues. Had that woman at Walmart just let her try on the shirt, there would have been zero issues. I just don't get why people try to, like, take it upon themselves to make other people feel bad you you don't your job in life is not to make other people feel bad you don't have to be that person you don't have to have negative vibes you don't have to produce negative energy and people do it I feel like people do it on purpose I mean people just love to produce this negative energy and there's no reason for it because it just fills it fills other people's lives with this negative negative energy but if you're producing the negative energy it's gonna fill your life with bad vibes too and then you're fucking yourself over in the end and it's just like I, I just feel like it just 
it just sucks. It sucks. You really think I wanted to like go into that restaurant and like be verbally abused? On top of it though, okay, so this guy was like 50 or 60. On top of it, this guy was overweight as fuck too. Like he, it wasn't like he was just some like super fit man that said this. Like he had a fucking beer belly the size of fucking Jupiter. So Toby's barking because my brother just got home, but I'm just gonna end this video here. Like I don't want to ramble on forever. So thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and and definitely leave me video suggestions. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!